Uh, hello, hello, everybody. As usual, my name is Casey. And welcome to more of the Tell on the Raver Weekend. A word I still can't pronounce. And words are my enemy, which I've been saying an awful lot lately. We've got Spanish soap opera Peter. And this is him right here. There he is. Great him. But there's been quite a lot of problems. And basically, I'll get into it really quickly if you guys are unfamiliar with what's going on. Originally needed 75 candies and a bunch of other items as well. Those items that were separate were easy enough to get. It was all about the pinatas and it was all about the candies. Now, with 75 candies, it might have been possible if there was a free hit every four hours. But there was a problem with that feature, so they removed it, lowered the candy to 55, and everything relied on the blindfolds. I have 22, you can see. But the you know, particular pinatas were not a 100% chance. They spawned one every two hours, so you basically had to be perfect. And even then, it might not have been possible. In the end, though, Tiny Co. is an amazing company, and they really do listen to their customers. They have apparently lowered the candies to 35. I don't know if that's actually the case or not. That's what I read at a couple sites. Family Guy Addicts and Family Guy Tips. Both amazing sites. We'll see if I create it. If it will work, because I have more than 35, I think I have 38 or 39 candies. Let's see. I have 38. It is perfect. So let's create. Let's go five minutes. Yeah. Now, there's still more to do. Now, not for the weekend or for the mini update. It's for this. District 11. I have unlocked Olivia, and I actually thought I was done. I didn't realize I had to go to another time travel. But I now have to go to the Renaissance in the blimp. And I officially have enough. This is the final plutoniums that I think I need. Are we ready? Are we ready to do time travel for the fourth time? I think we are. Is it the fifth time? I really can't remember anymore. What happened? Hey, they... What happened? No! They didn't do the thing where he's like, zoop! I think the blimp didn't disappear. Oh man, a blimp exploded. Oh, there it goes. That's the first time in history that has ever happened. Aww. Keep in mind that as far as I'm concerned, nothing happened pre-Beyonce. What the heck is that thing? Looks like a guillotine. It is a guillotine. I'm going to put it beside my snake in the water. Dancing snake. Yay, I did it. Oops, I, sorry, Mr. Bush. Sorry, another bush. There we go. Okay, so we've got Olivia. We've also got another item. Or probably items. I don't know. We'll see. Thanks for all you did for me, Stewie. Maybe I can take you out for some ice cream. Sure. None of us drive and it's like a five mile walk, but it's all about the company, not the event. Eat sugar spice and everything nice. Eat the banana split at the sweet shop. It's an awesome name, huh? Sweet shop. Now, let's see. Do we have sweets in here? Do we have sweets? Now it's a building. Or maybe that is a building. Come on, sweet shop. Mr. Sweet Shop, where are you? I'm looking. I'm looking. I don't see it. I probably missed it because I don't pay attention. Channel 26. I don't think I built that yet. Oh, there it is. Leading Tower of Pisa. Elbows up, side to side. Elbows up, side to side. Let's lean like a capo. No idea what that means. The Channel 26 building. I don't think I've actually put that down, though. So, let's put this down. Yeah, we'll stick it here for now. Yeah! Six hours, baby. That's awesome, baby. And the other quest is this. Out to part number four. I think this is the, the main quest line for District 11. I think. I've already put down the Get Home. Kind of looks like the Jetsons. 
Olivia still has an hour to go. I'm gonna show you the home building though quickly. It looks really neat. It's like the Jetsons. There it is. Isn't that cool looking? Damn, that's cool. I wish I lived in a house like that. Hooray! He's done. So let's count down like usual. Three, two, one. Yeah! That is freaking sweet. Something's happening. Oh! Hey! So not only did they lower it to 35 because I completed the set, personally, I got 25 golden clams. It's been a good day so far. I'm liking it. Now, we created him. We now have to get him to play like Katara. Alabama. So let's see what he has for quests. We've got the first quest, obviously. Slap everyone. Pretend to speak Spanish. Plot evil. No! It's all about the good. Pitch a new telenueva. Act with passion. Now I don't know if these two other ones are locked, if they actually have animations or not. I'm thinking though I need to get the what do you call this building over here? Where is it? This building. I'm thinking it's for channel twenty six, those two locked quests, I think. I'm rambling, I'm sorry. So let's see, let's see this animation. Well the unemployment office is kind of in the way, but we can see it. There it is. Yeah. Oh, look at that fancy spin. He can just do it all, can he? I have officially finished District 11. Well, pretty much anyway. I have got Spanish soap opera Peter. So now, it is time to just sit back and relax for a day. And then get ready, get amped, get pumped, get hyped for the Star Trek event coming on March 19th. I, of course, was not around for Star Trek when it first was released. But I have watched it over the years here and there. I've watched some of the movies and stuff like that. So I do have some basic knowledge of the actual show and the characters, obviously, and the people who are behind the characters. I will have to brush up on my skills a little bit more. Anyways, that is going to wrap it up for now. So if you enjoyed this video and you really want to show your support, hit that thumbs up button. That would be awesome. Thanks for watching. My name is Casey and I will see you on the Star Trek event. Bye-bye, guys.